Why, hello there, and welcome to the Cyrus Podcast, where I'm holding a CSGO knife, trying to do tricks with a CSGO knife. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure it's not sharpened. It probably is. I don't know about these CSGO knives. You get them from Elemental Knives, the website, and they're pretty, pretty, pretty cool, I will say. So we got some articles today to talk about, and basically, we are going to get into the tech news, somewhat. So, Apple, the 35, I'm going to put this knife up because honestly I'm going to end up cutting myself and that's going to be a whole real deal and then I'm going to bleed all over the place and it's not going to be good. So, Apple has made a Apple Vision Headset Pro. I'm sure you've seen it at the WWDC, but people have figured out how to run Windows XP on the Apple Vision Headset Pro. Yeah, I know. Windows XP? Really? Yeah, I know. What a wonderful operating system. It's a great operating system. And I'm not even being sarcastic. XP is a wonderful operating system. I grew up with XP. I grew up with UB Funkies. I grew up with the doo-doo-doo-doo-doo, you know, the login sound. XP was my childhood. So I'm not being sarcastic when I talk about XP. When I say I know, I mean, yeah, I know. That good operating system, Windows XP. You know, some people, I feel bad for the people who grew up with Vista. (laughs) <laughs> Vista, you grew up with Vista, you grew up with Vista. You know, all the kids are picking on you at school because you're growing up with Windows Vista. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, good old days. And then there's the even older people who are like, eh, I grew up with 95. Listen, you're too old. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Apple found a way, or, or dev, developers found a way to run Windows XP on the Apple Vision Pro using the development toolkit that was provided by Apple so that they can start developing apps for the Vision Pro, even though it's technically not out yet as far as I know. Um, that is crazy because the fact that it can run Windows XP is honestly really, really, really cool. And um, I will say that uh, I need to stop playing with this knife because I'm going to end up getting hurt. I don't, it's just sitting there. I, I don't know. All right. But I will say basically that it is really cool that it can run XP. So I just figured I would point that out there. Anyway, in other news, there is a door that is $4,000. Could you imagine spending $4,000 on a door? Well, guess what? It's happened. People spent $4,000 on a door. And the door is a smart door. And you're going to be saying, well, Cyrus, what's so smart about this door? Well, this particular door... Let's just say that it's $4,000. You get the upgraded model, it's $7,000. Who's going to spend $7,000 on a smart door that's coming from Home Depot? And you know what's funny about this door? You're going to be saying, well, Cyrus, it must have some cool features if it's a $7,000 door, $4,000, 4K door. You know, it's got some features. It's got some features, yeah. And I'm intentionally not breaking my voice. I'm intentionally doing that because it's got some features. It's got some features. You know, I'm going to stop doing that because that's annoying. But basically, it's got some features. It's got uh, the ability to have a ring doorbell installed. Yay! It's not like that you can go out and buy a ring doorbell for 100 bucks off of Amazon. No, you got to get the $4,000 door or the $7,000 upgraded door. Smart door. So, um, yeah. And the installation is not included. You see, the ins- I was reading this article, and the installation is not included. It's kind of funny. So you're paying $4,000 for a door. you got to pay for the installation of the door. And what else does this door have, you might be asking? This particular door has a smart lock. It's got a ring doorbell and a smart lock. I'm telling you, if I'm paying $4,000 or $7,000 for a door, uh, it better be able to play YouTube videos. This door better be like some futuristic door. This door better teleport people into my house if I'm going to pay $4,000 for a door. Seriously, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. $4,000 for a door? Like, I, I'm, I'm not, this isn't even a joke. This is legitimately an actual article. Like, this is a literal article. I, I'm not even joking. It's a literal article. Literally Google smart door by Home Depot and you'll see the $4,000 door. Like, why? Why on earth would I do that? Why on earth would it do that? I don't know. It sounds like they're just trying to make money, 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 money. But you know what? They got a $4,000 door. Anyway, you know what else I want to talk about? I miss Steve Jobs. (laughs) I'm not even joking. I legitimately miss Steve. And you know what? You know what, Steve? Steve. Steve. Come back to us, Jobs. 
Come back to us, Steve. We want you back. We need your products. Tim Cook isn't doing anything good. He's not doing anything good. I mean, no offense to Tim, but the, the computers aren't as good. The, 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 the Apple Silicon is great, but Tim is just, he's not as good as you, Steve. The design for the iPhones are just the same. I mean, they're using the same old designs for the iPhone, and it's like honestly hilarious. It's not even funny anymore. We can't even get proper colors. I talked about this on the last show. We can't even get proper colors. <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe!